The primary transoceanic abort landing site for STS-55 is Banjul in the Gambia. Weather there and at the other Tau sites is forecasted to be marginal, but we remain optimistic that it will improve as the day goes on and that we will have a chance to go into uh, one of these transoceanic abort landing sites should the need arise. This is shuttle launch control at T minus three hours and holding. The seven STS-55 astronauts now seated around their breakfast and dinner table in anticipation of this morning's launch at 10.50. Here you see mission specialist Charlie Precourt sitting on the end of the table. Precourt's our flight engineer on this mission. Dr. Ulrich Walter, one of two German payload specialists flying. There's payload commander Jerry Ross and our mission commander, Steve Nagel. The pilot of this mission, Tom Hendricks, giving us a thumbs up. Hans Schlegel and Dr. Bernard Harris. This is Space Shuttle Launch Control at T minus three hours and holding. We have just about an hour and one minute left in our planned build-in hold here. Looking at a long-range uh, camera shot of launch pad 39A, where Columbia stands poised and ready for the STS-55 mission. The crew suit-up room is uh, typically busy with activity on launch day. Here's our mission specialist, Dr. Bernard Harris. Dr. Harris will be making his first trip in space on the D2 flight. and we'll be heading out to the launch pad within the next few minutes. We have just 45 seconds left in this built-in hold at the T-minus three-hour mark. This is shuttle launch control at T-minus two hours, 56 minutes and counting. The seven astronauts flying aboard Columbia today are now leaving the operation and checkout building to begin their journey out to launch pad 39A. This morning's walkout is occurring at 7.34 Eastern time and at the height of the time when employees are showing up to work. So they have uh, quite a good crowd of onlookers as they make their way out to the pad. Steve Nagel leading the way, followed by Tom Hendrick, Jerry Ross, Hans Schlegel is following the Jerry, Dr. Bernard Harris, Ulrich Walker and Charlie Precourt. The seven STS-55 astronauts now making their way along the Saturn Causeway in the Space Center's Launch Complex 39 area, a Saturn V rocket shown in the background. This is Space Shuttle Launch Control at T-minus two hours, 39 minutes, and counting. The STS-55 astronauts have arrived at launch pad 39A and have boarded the elevator and should be making their way to the area where they will enter Columbia. They can, uh, some of the crew can now be seen on the orbiter access arm, and Commander Steve Nagel is shown inside the white room. This is Space Shuttle Launch Control at T-minus one hour, 24 minutes and counting. Operations here in the firing room continuing to go rather smoothly towards supporting an on-time liftoff at 10.50 this morning. The red crew that was dispatched out to the launch pad about 15 minutes ago is out there looking at this uh, secondary regulator associated with the helium system of the Space Shuttle's main engines. And that work appears to be going well also. This is shuttle launch control at team on 20 minutes and holding. NASA test director Al Sofji has informed the team to pick up the count on time. T minus four, three, two, 
one. We're now at T minus 19 minutes, 58 seconds and counting. At this point, all continuing to look very good aboard Columbia. We're at T minus seven minutes, 34 seconds and counting. At T minus seven minute, 30 seconds, the ground launch sequencer will initiate retraction of the orbiter crew access arm. And that is now in work. This access bridge can be positioned right back to Columbia within about 15 seconds, should the need arise. TLT, OTC, clear cost and warning memory and verify no unexpected error. Turn the fault. The gaseous oxygen vent hood is being retracted away from the external tank. And orbiter test conductor Mike Key has requested Tom Henricks to clear the ship's caution and warning memory system. That task is reported complete with no anomalies. T minus two minutes, five seconds, and counting. And flight crew, OTC, close and lock your visors and initiate O2 flow and have a good flight. Good work and thank you very much. Jealous is go for EP, LH2, pressurization. The astronauts have closed their flight visors on their helmets in preparation for this morning's launch. T minus one minute, 30 seconds, and counting. One minute, 30 seconds. T minus 20 seconds. Columbia's vent doors are being moved and configured for flight. T minus 15, coming up on a go for main engine start. 12, 11, 10, T minus 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Solid rocket ignition and liftoff, liftoff of Columbia on a voyage to the future. Roll program. How'd you roll, Columbia? Houston is now controlling the roll, roll maneuver underway and complete. Columbia is in a heads down position on course for a 28 and a half degree flight, 160 nautical mile orbit. Engines aboard Columbia now beginning to throttle down as the orbiter passes through the air of maximum pressure on the vehicle in the lower regions of the atmosphere. Columbia is now just one nautical mile downrange from the launch site at an altitude of 17,000 feet. Accelerating now through 680 miles per hour. SRB separation is confirmed. Columbia is now 20 mi 29 miles from the launch site at an altitude of 173,000 feet, traveling 3,000 miles per hour. Columbia, performance nominal. The orbiter will, uh, nose will pitch up forward just a little bit to uh, plan for the separation of the external Columbia fuel tank. Nominal, Miko, Holmes 1, not required. Your go for the photo DTO. The external tank has separated from Columbia. The orbiter is safely in orbit now. Downrange from the launch site, 900 nautical miles. The crew's been given a go for the external tank DTO. That's a detailed test objective. The orbiter will uh, uh, conduct a maneuver to pitch around so that the uh, crew members can photograph the external tank as it falls away from the orbiter.
Columbia, the uh, port door is opening now. Are you getting that camera? Columbia, we're getting good video now, seeing the door opening. And Columbia from Detroit, München. How do you read? This is Columbia. How do you read? DQ5, and uh, we have again Hauke over here, and he's going to contact you right now. Yes, Columbia, this is Mission Manager. How do you read? This is Columbia, loud and clear. How are you doing, Hauke? I'm just fine. Steve, take my congratulations and the con congratulations of the whole team for the very good and very on-time launch which we had.
Stand by a second. No, thermal camera can be switched off, but just leave it in place to save time. Investigators want to understand or to try out a, a theory that doing uh, intense exercise within 18 to 24 hours before return to the uh, Earth's gravity can increase one's muscular uh, tone and cardiovascular functioning and also help to reduce uh, what is called orthostatic intolerance. That is um, uh, a change in the body's blood pressure regulating mechanisms that allows one to feel dizzy. Okay, then we'll wait on step 15. Uh, Bernard, uh, step 1 through 14 and uh, stop out after step 14, then it's completed. Oh yeah, thanks for the reminder. We just uh, got engrossed in this IFM. Okay, we'll stand by. How do you feel?
Okay, Jerry, that's, that's really nice. Uh, please turn a little bit uh, the container. Again, again, in the, the, the other direction, please. Another, okay, okay, that, that was fine. Back, back. No, no. Okay, uh, again back, now back. Stop. Uh, we have very nice chains, as you see, but I didn't see any movement during pulse application. Did you see something? No, I just checked. I just was looking through the microscope and did not see any fusion. And then I checked and I saw now that the fusion is over already. Um, but I did not see any fusion products, not at all, and I have a much uh, wider view. I would like to ask you now to go to the higher magnification. Stop at this one and focus, please. Okay, this looks good. It looks like, a, yeah, there's a fusion. Yes, I think so. Please move on a bit and then we skip it and go to the next fusion. Yeah, sample goes into the freezer here. Uh, this is a passive freezer of gaseous nitrogen. How cold is it? Uh, about minus 8. Is that right? 20. Here's the temperature, minus 195 centigrade. Hier nebendran befindet sich das Holographielabor Holop. Hier werden mit interferometrischer Holographie Modellsubstanzen untersucht und die Diffusionsvorgänge in ihnen sowohl als auch Erstarrungskeimdynamik. Ulrich, go ahead.
Did you see that? We saw it, yes. Hans, what are you doing? <laughs> doing tissue compliance. What is that? Measuring the compliance of my forehead skin. Looking for fluid shift? Yeah. How long do you have to do that? Uh, for 10 minutes. Just start Directly behind the laboratory module are uh, several exterior experiments. On the far right hand side is a, an experiment uh, in the, that, uh, experiments that deals with exposing materials uh, to the exterior space environment. The uh, tall structure uh, midway up is the galactic ultra wide angle camera. And uh, Hans, uh, you now have a go to to try to connect the cable to port two, and then close the front flange protection cover again. Okay. 
finish it off now. Nibian Desert. Das Magnetfeld hier im Space Lab bewegt sich im Augenblick in dieser Richtung, also entlang des Magneten. Ich drehe ihn mal um oder ich lasse ihn mal um das Magnetfeld schwingen. Nochmal. Great, Go ahead. and uh, pass them all our greetings, and uh, from the whole crew of Columbia, we're doing great. Uh, got a few plumbing problems, so we're getting them fixed, and I think we'll stay up for the full duration here. Okay, I copy that. Uh, I took okay, a thanks a million, and great talking time. to you. This is the N5 RAW to WA5JFY uh, out in 73. Okay. Sorry, I'm saying, dude, that piece of crap on the ground. KB5YSQ talking to Houston. How you doing, he's, girls? He's over. He's got a good contact now. Give me copy on the ground. Hey, Lynn, we're doing really good. How are you guys doing? Is Michelle on her way up to Austin? Over. Well, really good. Hey, we had a big day today, and we went right over top of uh, Mount Everest and got some great pictures. Bernard and I uh, did a bunch of photos in the lab. We did our crew photo. We did a, you, you saw the downlink the other day of uh, uh, Ulrich and doing his tour. I took some film of Hans doing the same thing in the lab today. Over. Columbia, this is WH6CJU in Hawaii. Do you still copy? This is Columbia. We read you loud and clear. Okay, we lost you there for a second. I'll turn you back over to the school. Uh, go ahead, school. Okay, we're going to uh, field this question again. This is Jarvis Simmons. Jarvis Simmons is going to ask the next question. How do you wear the robust arm over? Well, Jarvis, uh, we don't have a robot arm on this flight. We have a space lab in the payload bay, so I haven't had a chance to do that up here yet. Question over. Over. 
Jerry, Jerry, it's the please. aft. It's the aft end camera. Aft we see okay. you just moving into the picture. Okay. And hi, can the camera is still pointing on the IHF? Uh, due to the IFM procedures, do you want us to uh, put it in the right perspective? Hello, this is GMAC. Uh, before you go into communications, could you uh, ensure that the uh, tablet will write to the screen with the IGT? The crew can also, uh, by drawing on pictures or devices uh, on the uh, CTE, if this is called, uh, send messages to and from the crew. Uh, Henrik has just written a message to make sure that the graphics device uh, will write to the computer screen, and apparently everything went as expected. Hey, Bernard, look what I have here. Do you know these toys from Earth? Yeah, isn't that the castle of Neuenswanstein, one of the famous castles in Germany? Yes, it is. And uh, do you see the snow on Earth? It usually falls yeah. down and the bubbles move up. And here, even if we turn it around. What happens if you let it go? Oh, look at that. Look at the snow. Yeah, these, these little toy demonstrates the principle of microgravity pretty well. I, like I said before, the snow is moving down and the bubbles up. Sedimentation and convection is there under 1G. Here it's missing. That is the basic principle many of our experiments are based on. Well, let me see that again. Look at that. Hey, well I think is it possible for us to go to this castle again? Sure, why not? Let's do it post flight. Right. All right. In the meantime, let's see what's out here. Wow, what a sight. I'll try not to get your windows dirty while I'm eating here. It'll make you mad, will it? What's the box saying? Uh, nine five. Nine five and a half for oblique, huh? Yep. I don't know what that is out there. No light? No, the holes. What time is it at Temple of the Land Mass?
Columbia now over Somalia. And space left from München for Bernard, no reply necessary uh, because you run into LOS in two minutes. Uh, whenever you have done facility shutdown or follow up, you have a go to proceed with a message 209 concerning anti activity. Columbia now uh, above the Indian Ocean coast of Somalia. So it continues out across the ocean, crossing the coast almost uh, directly above the city of Mogadishu, Somalia. Columbia is now passing or going northeast across the continent of Africa. Uh, the uh, lights below, or the flashing lights below, uh, or the lightning and thunderstorms in the area. Guten Tag, ich bin Steve Nagel und als Kommandant der D2 Mission heiße ich Sie willkommen an Bord unseres Raumschiff Columbia. Bei 28.000 km pro Stunde muss ich dafür sorgen, dass meine Kollegen hier im Labor gut arbeiten können. I would like to take this opportunity to welcome you on board Columbia and to thank you, the German people, for your support of this mission. We are now into the eighth day of the flight and it is going extremely well. We think you'll be very pleased with the results. Again, thank you very much. We hope to see you very soon when we're back on the ground. Auf Wiedersehen. switches out of all that and the calls. Well, hello. Hello. Wie geht's? 
Gut geht's. Wie geht's euch? <lacht> First views of Columbia from long-range cameras at Vandenberg as uh, Columbia descends through 130,000 feet. Columbia Houston on energy at the 90. Roger. Columbia is now making a wide sweeping turn around a heading alignment circle to set up for final approach to runway 22. Columbia now setting up for final approach, range from the landing site, seven miles. Time to touchdown, one minute, 30 seconds. Range, two nautical miles. Mm -hmm. 
Landing gear is down and locked. Main gear touchdown. And nose gear touchdown. Columbia rolling out on runway 22 at Edwards Air Force Base in California on the 160th orbit of the mission after traveling 4.1 million miles. Roger Bill Coleman, who house in Columbia. Congratulations on a very successful international mission. There's a lot of folks all around the world that are very excited about the knowledge gained during your mission. Congratulations. And Capcom set up for Edwards 159. We're waving off KSC, and they should remain in their current attitude uh, in reference to one orbit wave off procedures in the entry checklist. The time of the deorbit burn for a Kennedy landing. Uh, just a little after 7 o'clock Central, uh, 8 o'clock Eastern, uh, actually about uh, 8.02 Eastern Time. Columbia, we uh, concur, and we saw all good times and uh, closed and left. That's right, we saw no water time at all. Astronaut Charlie Bolden flying the uh, shuttle training aircraft, which is a modified Gulf Stream, uh, which uh, mimics the orbiter's landing phase. He's been flying approaches uh, to run runway 22 out at Edwards uh, all morning using this STA, as it's called, and also using the T-38, the small jet trainers that are used for proficiency training by the pilot astronauts. Burn report, if you would, please. Let me, Houston, we have you back on uh, Tedris West looking for a burn report. Normal burn, Houston. Okay, we copy normal burn, and uh, you can delete the hydraulic fluid thermal condition today. It is not required. Copy that. Altimeter is 2998. And the winds are 220 at 12, peaked to 17. Roger, 2998. Flight GT PTS 6 is active. Full stop, Houston. Roger, Bill Coleman, who house in Columbia. Congratulations on a very successful international mission. There's a lot of folks all around the world that are very excited about the knowledge gained during your mission. Congratulations. Back. No post landing deltas. Flight GC. GC. I'd like to release Teeters West. You have a go. Flight GC. 